Oh, thank you very much. I think now we understand that uh, people can gain three benefits from economics. But would you be able to give us an example that how people can gain benefits by doing their job economically? Let, for, let's say, for example, the mouse. Uh -huh. Everyone, mostly everyone, yeah. uh, are using a flat mouse. Right. So what is a flat mouse doing with your hand? It gives you strength in the thumb and in the pinky. Yes. So this will uh, grip your mouse tight. You keep your fingers above the mouse, so no, not clicking, to avoid clicking. And, and when you keep it like flat, it will give your muscles extra load that they are giving risks on injuries. So when you look at Robin, he's um, keeping his hands in a comfortable way, that's like this. So he's not thinking about his work, he's not thinking about his hands, he's listening to me in a comfort comfortable way. That's also the way to keep a mouse really good. And this is why they invent a vertical mouse to use with less muscle load. And this mouse, it's for example from Minicute, it's their newest mouse, can be adjusted on personal uh, items. So you can have your vertical mouse to have your muscle load in your arm as low as possible. You can adjust the palm rest to have it uh, and to use it more precise. And you can adjust the weight like this to get three coins out of it and to have a higher weight when you need more weight to uh, activate the cursor. So this is a way how you should uh, uh, get your equipment uh, adjust to your body, not the other way around. Alright, understood. So the first suggestion is that simply people need to get a better economic mouse instead of a regular flat mouse. They should be aware of the fact that this is not natural. This yes. is natural. Alright. And the awareness will help people to avoid injuries. Thank you very much, Mr. Alex. You're welcome.